Hello everybody, welcome back to the vault Tech Workshop. The soda machine has been manned for an hour now. Let's see how it goes. Clem? Yeah? Everyone is getting a drink on. But are they feeling the effects? Hello? Wait, are, are you new? We might have met you before. I should probably hand out those vault Tech. You um, should know. complaining a bit about the bed situation. Shut up about the bed situation. Yeah. I haven't gotten enough check up? cloth yet. Right here. You're back! Oh, yeah, this vault's amazing. <laughs> just great. Wow. Yeah, just great. It's so great, I don't even know what I'm saying. Neither do I. It seems to be working pretty well right now. They are... High ass balls. Over here! What is our next experiment? The soda fountain shows enormous potential. I know, right? <clears throat> to think we've turned the simple soda fountain into something noble. Ah, it fills me with pride. On to the next prototype. Ugh, the Hippocratic Oath. A solemn vow to do no harm. Well, roughly, that's what it means. I don't want to get into interpreting dusty Latin textbooks, but that core sentiment of the medical community runs counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. You're kind of skilled at typing. You don't even have to look at the screen or anything. Instead, their sole focus should be the collective good. You understand, of course. Possibly. I could see needing to strike a different balance here. Is that a twinge of misguided conscience? You should work on suppressing that. So, enter the vault Tech Foraptor. A Foraptor? A specialized piece of optometrist equipment that, yes, can improve a patient's eyesight. Uh, I thought it was going to be a robotic dinosaur. Potentially so much more. With photonics. The prototype requires a bit... Well, a lot. All right, a staggering quantity of radioactive material. But the results will be worth it. And I did mine a lot of um, nuclear material from the uranium over there in the other corner or the other parts of this vault, as well as those pieces I uh, cleared out in this room. I did some spring cleaning, you might have noticed. Where am I going to get that much nuclear material? You're in luck. We chose this site for Vault 88 because our surveys indicate that there's a rich source of uranium deeper inside the caves. So, dig deep and get what we need. I will. I'm pretty sure we've been there already. Look at how clean everything is. Still need to sort out the crafting thing, but the uh, uranium deposits... Oh, wait, it's over here? What? Huh? Where yes. are we going? What? Build and power the Foropter prototype. Ah! So maybe I already have enough uh, nuclear material in my inventory. Oh, That's why it's uh, popping up. Point to it, right? Let's try it. And... Yeah! We have enough already. Use the power of the atom to improve settler's eyesight. Hmm, I kept this water tower around, but I got rid of everything else. I also need to get rid of, um... Let's skip that for now. Can I just... Eh! Come here! Come here! Oh, is that an invisible hand? Can you see that? An invis invisible arm! Can I just drop you down this tunnel shaft? Out of sight, out of minds. Whee! Oh no, I dropped him! Grab him by the neck. There we go. I'll just put you right here. Ooh, bottle cap. And a silver fork. That gun was loaded! I'm feeling like putting um, a little infirmary in one of these tunnels. That might be a cool little choice. So, let's see if we can get some flooring going here. Maybe get some wood or metal. I mean, I could use the stuff from the 
mod. Like the snap and bill, those guys are pretty cool. Maybe like a capsule. Greenhouse. Nah, let's just use the normal stuff for now. And we'll just build just a basic thing right here. Can I fit two? I don't think I can. But if I put it in the middle, I might be uh, able to do one of these on the side. It'll clip into the wall, but that's fine. As long as it doesn't look terrible, <laughs> I'm okay. That's fine. That's fine. And I think we're gonna end it right there. This room. The clinic! Oh, can I not fit right there? No. Put the big one in the middle. There we go. I mean, I could... Hmm. There's no, like, ramps in this game. That's kind of terrible. But we can use stairs here, I think. Can I put another pair of stairs? I mean, that's kind of floating in midair. But I think this is fine. Yeah, we can get up there just fine. And let's put some walls up in here so we don't have to look at the... Uh... I mean, I like the side walls, actually. And we put it on the back so we don't have to see the rubble. Have to get rid of that and put two small bits instead. Like so. And then we'll put the walls up. Come on. I mean, that works. And that works. Can I put it. No, that doesn't work. I mean, I can use the. Uh... A trick, I know. That's not it. I need the second floor. Can this snap? No. Hmm. I would like a normal rooftop. It's not working here. Can on the other side, for some reason. Well, let's try to get that on this one as well. It did work. So fitted -y. That works too. And then, if you put a wall... No, that doesn't work. It has to be floors then. That doesn't seem to want to snap. Ah, upper floor. There we go. That's the ticket. We'll put it like that. And then put these. This work? Won't snap. I do kind of want to clean this baby up. So we don't have to look into the tunnel. Doesn't appear to be a good option for it though. Can just that works, I guess. I mean, this works. Did you see that? It snapped. That's actually good. I like that. So we have a rudimentary little shack here, but that is going to be our infirmary. Can I? I kind of want to patch this up somehow. Is it gonna work? Oh, oh, oh! That other one doesn't seem to work. That's fine. A little hole is fine. And I do want a sign above this um, building or this entrance. And maybe get some privacy. So we'll put decorations. Wall decorations. Small signs. We got labels from one of my mods, a ton of those, but I feel like there's gonna be signs over to the right of it. 
There we go. Open sign. What is that? A notice. Is there a uh, infirmary sign? Biohazard. Well, I definitely want to put those up in my. Uh, I guess we're gonna use the. Um, hmm. I mean, this works. Oh, we we're gonna put those uh, food signs up in the mess hall. Drugs. I well, like some drugs. This universe. That wasn't kind of straight. Come on. Come on. That'll have to do. And then we'll put a better two down for the um, infirmary patients. I think there was. Yeah, a med bay. Let's put a med bay down. We can cover up this little hole with this as well. Which one is up and which one is down? Doesn't matter. Oh, there's a pillow. I guess this is the one. There we go. And that should take care of our bed situation as well. We had enough cloth to sort that out. Then, I would like a chair for the dock. But I would also like a table for the dock. Like a work table. Tables. Not an overseer's desk, not a pool table, like a uh, either a laboratory bench or a um, desk. Good hygiene is definitely something we want for our dock, so a sink we gotta have. Then we have a basic infirmary setup done. Now, where do we want to put this uh, thing? Do we want to put it in here? I mean, we could have a med bay area. So, let's go over here. Raptor prototype. Put it right near the entrance. Requires power, too. So, maybe if we build... We build that. I could put something... I mean, there's room here. We could, like, put something in the back. So, if I go, like, electricity generators, and put a small generator back here, we can get a good angle. I don't want it floating in midair, thank you very much. I think that got put on the back. Let's make sure our... Uh, that, um... thing you attach the wire to, it's gotta be connected properly. Then we gotta find it somehow. We'll get rid of that for now. And then we need a connector on the wall here. Will this work? You can just put it right there. Nobody's gonna check on the details. And then we'll have to patch that hole up again. That seems to work. And then that should be able to connect to that. There we go. Connect the terminal. We need another terminal. Can we even afford another terminal? Or do you have to patch them both up? I think we'll have to patch them up. Let's do some wiring. Put a wire... I mean... Using the clipping for my benefits to make this like... Almost invisible would be pretty cool. How's this? That works. So I'm gonna wire that up to uh, all the way over there. Let there be power, I think. Right? I mean, this generator probably isn't enough, though. And this wire work is just so ugly. Can I... Hmm. Won't this be wired up by proxy? If I get rid of this. Like... Tab. Will this still function? I think it actually does function. And are we connected over there? Yeah. 
I'm sorry. Corruptor experiment. Yay, we did it. Let's see here. Subliminal messaging. Let's check the notes first. The challenge I put before you is to find a way to turn a simple eye exam into something that furthers vault ambitions. Foropter is an excellent delivery mechanism because it's infrequent enough and arcade enough that if anything slightly irregular occurs, no one would know. I expect great things from each of the teams. Alright, what are our options? I do like the subliminal messages, but let's check out the other ones. Vault monitoring. This one, Team Walrus, don't ask, is very proud of. Dr. Braun, a small MRI specifically designed to fit in the Phoropter when fed enough power, and imaging can process the visual information response from stimuli. Layman's terms, it can read a test subject's mind and show an actual picture of what they're thinking about. That's the promise at least, but the images are very grainy and indistinct. Starting from the standard Rorschach test, with hundreds of volunteers, our computers could reliably identify these images with 71% accuracy. Still early days, but the promise of getting involuntary glimpses into a population's mind could be a game changer for vault management. That doesn't sound very amusing though. That is like my main goal. Improved eye care. That sounds it's like a good two-shoes option. I'd probably do that if I wasn't trying to be or having a goal of being entertaining like right now. Simple synopsis, uh, yeah. They made him better. Yay. <laughs> please, please process my request to reassign his whole team. Somewhere far away. And cold. Now. Subliminal messages. R&D has designed a series of microflash images which, when played repeatedly and in the loop, have a statistically significant positive effect on the test subject's view of the vault, vault and the overseer specifically. We never quite perfected an eye drop formula that was both effective and didn't cause long-lasting eye trauma, but we're still still working on that. Um, eye trauma. Acceptable. So bored. Oh, let's see what they're gonna do. I'm here. Looks like we have our first patient. Yes. Have a seat. Before we begin, Clem, uh, how do you feel about children? Uh, they're all right, I guess. You ever planning on having any? I uh, I don't know. Why are you asking? Just idle chatter. Go on. Hi, you here for an eye exam with the for... With this thing? I guess. Go ahead and get in. It doesn't bode well for her that her name is Sl Settler. He's named, so he should survive for now. So, what do I do? Just stay still. It, it keeps flashing. I, uh... I think that's normal. What? Ah, what the? Ah, ow! Uh... This thing's not working! What were you doing? I kept saying obey the overseer. Mm. Well, Aww. that's just a quirk of the prototype. It didn't work! Nothing to concern yourself with. Bullshit. This ain't the end of it. So strange having- Can I like- Uh, convince her that uh, there's no shenanigans going on? I should probably put on my charisma stuff for that. Also, I should probably keep that on just because I'm in here. Look at that. People about. Damn! Damn! So fly. Hey there. What the hell is your game? You invite Clem and me in here to experiment on us? You some sort of sicko? No, no, no! It's not what you think. <laughs> you can't talk your way out of this, pal. At least up in the Commonwealth, everyone's up front about trying to kill you or rip you off. Come on, Clem. Let's leave. These guys are assholes. But I've got a job now. I'm an optim... I run the eye machine. I can't leave. Run while you can, Clem. Oh, we lost one! Boo! She's gonna spread the word, too. 
So one of I'm not evil enough to uh, kill her for it. Well, it'll be easy enough to replace her. The important thing is that our work is progressing admirably. She could be the first of many to flee this vault. If it becomes too big a problem, vaults are designed to be closed, you know. Anyway, this last experiment is my pride and joy. Oh, it's the last one! The footsteps of Dr. This is Brock probably going to be Williams. very dangerous. I spent my time devising my very own prototype. Its premise is this. We are all flawed creatures. Each with our own vices. What if our vault didn't pointlessly try to stamp out these predilections and instead harnessed them? Give me the details. The vice in question is greed. The schematic is for a slot machine. I designed it to be as enticing as possible. Does it have Choose boobs on it? Experimental parameters, and let's see how it fares in the field. All right, then. So we have one last experiment to do, and then I'm gonna do some building in here, I think. But that is gonna be a tale from the day. Let me know if you guys want to see more by hitting that thumbs up button, leaving a comment below, and sharing the videos around. Every little bit helps, and views make the world go around. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time.